Hi, and welcome to another episode of Monster Model Review. I'm your host, Rob Madison, and on this episode, we have Terry Beatty's Salem Witch, a Roar Tribute Kit, based on the artwork of James Bama. First, a little about Terry Beatty. Terry is a multi-talented artist working in comics, clays, and academics. Terry's comics and illustrating credits include Miss Tree, the longest-running private eye series in comic books, starting way back in 1981, Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer, Johnny Dynamite, DC's Wild Dog, among many others. And for the past 11 years, he has been the regular inker on the award-winning animated-style Batman series from DC Comics. Also for the last 11 years, Terry has been the premier and Rondo award-winning cover painter for Scary Monster Magazine. Terry's previous one-of-a-kind sculpts and resin kits include Trick or Treat, a kit you can build in one of two ways, as either a Halloween witch or a sexy devil girl, Buffalo Belle, a cowgirl in vintage pinup style, a limited edition sold out officially licensed kit of Mary Hartline of the 1950s ABC TV Super Circus Show, and a very limited hand painted edition of Switchblade Siren, based on the cheesecake and pinup model Bernie Dexter, all part of the Beatty's Beauties series. More of Terry's work includes a one of a kind sculpt. This is based on a Head and Sunblom Santa Claus painting, replacement faces for the Polar Lights Hulk and Captain America models as well as Mobius Models' reissue of the classic Captain Action plastic kit, and his newest works, Terry Beatty's Freaks and Odysseys set, including seven figures that can all be displayed in a single scene. Now on to The Witch. Produced by Fat Man Productions around 2000, this sold-out classic came in seven pieces, including a plastic bat from the classic Aurora kits. This kit needed very little cleanup, and since all the ends fit in the folds of the clothes, there was also very little putty work needed. Terry did an excellent job sculpting this piece. The fit, the likeness to Bama's art, and textures are top notch. I painted the kit as I did my original kit to match the box art. And with the bigger scale, it was much easier to match the colors than the original smaller 112 scale kit. This is a very cool kit, and maybe with some prompting, Terry may be willing to start a new cast. If you're interested in this great kit, check out his website at www.terrybeatty.blogspot.com. I still have fond memories of Wonderfest 2001 when I turned the corner and saw Terry's Salem Witch. I knew I had to have her and it was one of my first attempts at a resin kit. It also introduced me to Terry, who I was already a fan of his comic works and turned me into a big fan of his sculptures. If you're interested in some of his work, check him out on his blog spot and get a hold of him. If you want to see more on Monster Model Review, you can check us out on the web at monstermodelreview.com. I've been your host Rob Madison and thanks again for watching.